Hey, welcome to the commune. How are things over in the isolation lodge? All right, right on. So, you must be like super anxious to get out there and see the rest of the commune, right? Yeah. Well, as you know, you must first pass a series of physical examinations before you're allowed to join the uh, greater population and I'm here to help you today by getting you started with your eye exam. How's that sound? <laughs> right on. So I have right here notes for your personalized eye exam. And in here, I have all the information I need to figure out what we need to check out on you today, all right? Cool. So, here you are. Let's see. I'm just going to take a real quick moment to familiarize myself with your information. start off with your eyebrows today and then I'm going to move on down to uh, your lids and the eyes themselves and I'll be using some light to look into your eyes and I'll be doing a preliminary energy cleansing uh, that way I can reach in there and I can just pull out some of that old bad negative energy you have rattling around in there all right so first I need to get you in the proper state to uh, accept this examination and treatment. So I'm gonna give you a quick little shoulder massage and I'm gonna have you do some deep breathing. So I'm just gonna reach in, I'm gonna do uh, this shoulder over here and then this one. I'm just gonna do some real deep, firm rubbing on the shoulder and then we'll do some deep breathing and we'll move on from there, all right? Right on. So, here we go. All right, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a look at your aura, too, while I'm doing this. Cool. All right, so I'm just grabbing onto your shoulder real firmly. I'm going to squeeze tight and let go. Squeeze and let go. And squeeze and let go. One more time, squeeze and let go, squeezing your shoulder and let go, squeeze and let go. All right, other side, squeezing your shoulder and let go, squeeze and let go. Keep breathing, squeeze, and let go, looking good, squeeze, and let go, squeeze, and let go, squeeze in your shoulder, and let it go. Yeah, right on. Now if you look right at me, I'm going to count you through just a few deep breaths. I'm going to have you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, okay? So breathing in through your nose, we're going to breathe in. One, two, three, four, and hold. And breathe out. One, two, three three, four, five, and rest. 
in through your nose. One, two, three, four, and hold. Out through your mouth. One, two, three, four, five, and rest. One more time. In through your nose. One, two, three, four, and hold. And out through your mouth. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. All right. If you want to give your shoulders a little shake. Yeah, shake off any tension that's still left in there. Give your head a little shake. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking good. Your aura is looking great. I'd say we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead going to start with your eyebrows, um, then we're going to move down to the lids. There's going to be a lot of touching, all right? You ready? Okay. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and gently massage this eyebrow. Yeah. And this one. Okay. Your aura is looking really stable, so we're good to keep going here. You're doing a great job. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I am just examining your eyebrows, color, shape, texture. Mm, just relax. I'm just gonna keep gently massaging your brows while I look at. Stay cool and relaxed, just like that. You're doing great. Okay. I love eyebrows. <laughs> They're like little fur hats for your eyes. Do you do any personal grooming with your eyebrows? Like any waxing, plucking, coloring? Alright, right on. Have you heard that old superstition that uh, you can tell if someone's a werewolf if their uh, eyebrows connect in the middle? Pretty silly, right? If only it were that easy, right? Good. Good. We're doing great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move down to your eyes themselves. So I'm gonna have you close your eyes and I'm gonna be rubbing my thumbs very gently but firmly over your eyelids. And that way I can check for um, texture of your eyelids themselves. I can check the shape of your eyes. And I'm also going to be feeling for any energy that's emanating out of your eyes. All right? So let's go ahead and start with this eye. You can just go ahead and close both of them. All right. So I'm just gently running my thumb over your lids. Rubbing really gently. And keep breathing in and out very deeply. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. While I gently massage your lid. Alright, other side. You can open your eyes for a second if you want to. Give a couple blinks. All right. Great. Close them both again. I'm gonna work on the other eye. Putting my thumb gently on your lid. Massaging firmly but gently, just kind of feeling around in there. And you're totally safe. This shouldn't hurt at all. 
Just a little bit of pressure on your eye. There we go. Alright, you're doing a great job. You keep breathing. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. You can go ahead and open your eyes. And everything's wonderful so far. You're doing an A-plus job. <laughs> All right, right on. What are we doing next? Okay. So I need to go ahead and look into your eyes now. But this is really important. Um, I need to ask your permission first. Because basically... The eyes are the windows to the soul, right? So if I just dive right in there without giving your permission, that's pretty much like breaking and entering, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, I do not want to get in trouble for that <laughs> a second time. So, uh, do I have your permission to go ahead and take a look in there? Alright, awesome. So, I'm going to start off with this light right here. I'm going to be shining it into each of your eyes and just take a little look around, okay? So we're going to start with this eye over here. So if you can just keep your eye open. Alright. And I'm checking to see how your eye reacts to the light. And how your aura reacts to it as well. Good. Great. Blink twice. Awesome. Same eye. Right. If you just look straight ahead for now. Awesome. Other eye. You can blink a couple times if you need to. Awesome. Look straight ahead. the same thing again, but this time I want you to follow the light. Alright? Cool. So, you can set your eyes right on that light and follow it. Great. Now up and down, follow it. Yeah. I like what you have going on here. Your eyes are looking fantastic. Other one? And you're following it this time? Awesome. is doing this really cool thing. I've never seen plaid before. Keep following the light. Super cool. Alright. Alright. Now, we're going to do something similar, but with a, uh, more natural light, because there can be some subtle differences that might be really important. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do. So, 
want you to look straight ahead for me. Now, this time as I'm moving it around, I want you to follow it with your eyes, all right? See the light? I want you to breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Perfect. Now follow the light with your eyes. Just like that. You're doing a great job. Now keep looking right at the light. Keep looking for a few more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Fantastic. All right. Now, mm, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pull some, uh, some of the bad energy out of you. Not all of it, because we don't have all day, but uh, I'm just going to get a little bit, and then we'll probably do a more thorough cleansing on your next visit, all right? All right, so I just want you to sit right there, relax, you can stretch your neck if you want to, some deep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Kind of loosen up your shoulders a little bit for me. Yeah, perfect. Head side to side. Okay. Now, this shouldn't hurt or feel uncomfortable. You might feel a little bit of a buzzing or a, a relaxing sensation as I pull it out of you, okay? And that's totally normal. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that right out. Getting rid of it, just throwing it away. There we go. Okay. Great. Just relax. Grabbing it, pulling it out, throwing it away. You don't need that at all. And gotcha. All right. Here we go. Okay. A little bit more. Just pulling it out. Some nasty old negative energy that you've had for a while now. Pulling it out. Throwing it away. Pulling it out. And throwing it away. Okay. Here we go. Got it. Alright, I see a few more things in there that I want to get rid of today. And Get a little more serious about this on your next visit, all right? Okay. Pulling it out. 
throwing it away. Pulling it out. There we go. Yeah. How's that feel? Better? Right on. There we go. Two more. good news is we are pretty much done for today and you did a fantastic job um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna help you relax and count down before you return to the isolation lodge where I want you to take a nap okay so if you'll go ahead and just keep your eyes on this key I'm gonna count you down from 20 then I want you to head back on over to the lodge, close your eyes, and go to sleep, all right? Right on. All right. So keep looking at the key. And just relax. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Don't forget. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. I'm going to count you down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey you, how's the isolation lodge agreeing with you? Not getting a lot of sunlight in there, are you? Yeah, you're uh, you're pretty pale. Not that sunlight bothers you at all, right? <laughs> all right, just testing. Well, the good news is that since your eyes checked out during our last visit, we have been cleared to move our testing out of the visual quarantine chamber, so no more boring white walls. Yeah, don't worry, I didn't like it in there any more than you did. To me, plain white walls are only slightly less maddening than padded ones. Alright, let's see. So. Let's see what we have up for you today. Ah. So today we are checking out your ears, right? All right, right on. I'll start off with the preliminary external examination where I'll be looking at your ears and I'll be touching them quite a bit. And uh, then in order to prepare you for the more in-depth part of the examination, I'll be conducting a simple cleaning on your ears. Finally, I'll be conducting an auditory to aura connection assessment by doing a series of tests that will allow me to analyze how certain sounds and sensations manifest in your energy field. Sound good? All right, right on. Let's see. So, 
you don't mind, I'm gonna get right up in your ears and take a look over here. Hmm. All right, so you're just gonna feel me running my fingers up and down your ears. I'm just gonna be massaging the lobe of your ear for a moment here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull gently on the lobe and then I'm gonna pull on the top a little bit. It shouldn't hurt at all. Okay, so pulling on the lobe. Now I'm working my way up to the top of your ear and just Pulling it back. Alright, and pulling it back again. And moving back down to your lobe and pulling gently. Pulling. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a closer look. Perfect. Just folding the top of your ear forward a little bit. Perfect. Alright. Cool. Now, let's see. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some tapping on your ear. Tapping gently, tapping on and all around your ear, and everything looks a okay on this side. Perfect. Let's move on to the other side, shall we? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just be gently massaging your ear. Starting at the top and working my way down to the bottom. Alright, massaging your lobe. Gently but firmly. Working my way up to the top. There we go. Okay. Now you'll feel me pulling on your lobe. Pulling gently, pulling down. I'm going to work my way up and pull up on the top of your ear. Awesome. I'm going to pull up and back, pulling your ear up and back. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take a closer look now. Let's see. Perfect. Everything's looking great on this side. You ever hear that old superstition about how if your ears are burning, that means someone's talking about you? Yeah, this one time my ears were burning up really hot. And I was thinking, oh, someone's talking about me. But as it turned out, my ears are actually on fire. <laughs> I had leaned over a candle. Boy, did I feel silly. Alright, now I'm going to lean in again and I'm going to do a little bit of tapping. Tapping gently on your ear, on and all around. Perfect. You have really nice ears, you know that? Yeah, you probably hear that all the time. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and move to the ear cleaning now. So, I have this special little 
glass vessel here. And it's reserved especially for tests like this. And it was crafted under a full moon, obviously. So if you had any concerns about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some special salts that we use here. I'm going to grind them up with uh, my mortar and pestle and uh, add them uh, to this vessel with a little bit of water. And then we're going to go ahead and clean up those ears for you, all right? Get all that bad energy right out of there. All right. So, right here. Special envelope. It's filled with salts that have been collected and treated under very special circumstances. There's some special other secret ingredients mixed in there. If you'll just excuse me for a moment, I want to make sure this is nice and ground up. I want to make sure we activate all these crystals. some special water. Now, of course, this has been collected from the spring of back. Once again, collected under very special circumstances, full moon only. very special super secret ritual that we do when we collect this water. You want to know what it is? Yeah, I bet you do. of these salts.
does that look to you? All right, right on. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get all up in your ears again. I'm gonna use this special solution that we just made to clean out your ears, starting on this side. So, here we go. Just getting the outside of your ear right now. Just this part right here. We don't want any nasty, stray, bad energy bits getting in the way of our test. Here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean the back. Right back here. All right. And I'm just working the cotton bud here in gentle up and down strokes. Up and down. Up. And down. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna move to the inside of your ear. I'm gonna get all right up in here. Here we go. Perfect. Alright. These actually aren't too bad. There's not much negative energy trapped in here at all. I don't know what they have you doing in the isolation lodge there, but it's working. Move on to the other side, shall we? So, once again, I'm just going to start with the outside of your ear, and then I'm going to move to the back. The outside front, just working it up and down your lobe, starting up here and bringing it all the way down. Here we go. Perfect. Long, gentle strokes with the cotton bud top to bottom. And moving to the back of your ear now. Starting at the top and working down. Working my way back up and down. Up and down. All right, moving on to the inside of your ear now, right in here. Here we go. All right, right on. This ear's pretty clean already, too. There we go. And you're doing a great job. Just keep sitting back and relaxing. Don't have too much more hair to clean. Alright, perfect. Here we go.
So I'm just going to do one more once over with each of your ears with this dry cotton swab here. Starting with the outside here. side. Pardon me, I'm just going to lean right in here. Perfect. All right. Great, and the cleaning is done. So, we are ready to move on now. And we're going to get started with the auditory to aura connection assessment. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to get right in there and start messing around with your ears, making some noises, and checking out how it affects your energy field. All right, so if you can just sit back, relax, take some deep breaths for me. We're going to go in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. I need you nice and relaxed for this test to work. Alright, in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Great. Your aura is looking really stable. Alright. So, here we go. notes real quick.
Once again, with the deep breathing, let's stabilize that aura in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Into your nose, out through your mouth. Perfect. All right. Can you get in there and make some more noises in your ears? Here we go. Just gonna go ahead and smooth down your aura a little bit. There we go. Everything's looking great so far. Now for this next part. It can be blowing on your ears. So once again, let's stabilize that aura in through your nose. And out through your mouth. In through your nose. And out to your mouth. Into your nose. And out to your mouth. Alright. You can go ahead and close your eyes for this part if you want or not. It's up to you. Here we go.
Go ahead and touch your ears one more time. Great. You're doing a wonderful job, by the way. Stay nice and relaxed. There's uh, one final part to this test, and it might seem a little weird, but uh, I'm going to be leaning in and saying some stuff very softly in each ear, and what I need you to do is I need you to just relax and breathe. Let me check out that aura, all right? Right on. Here we go. Let's move on over to the other side. You're doing great. You look really good. Alright, here we go. You passed the test, all of them. You did a great job. You're looking good. And you can head on back to the isolation lodge. I'll see you next time, all right? Right on. Oh, hey, you're awake. Good. Once we finally got you sedated, I thought for sure you'd be out for a week. <laughs> oh, those? Don't worry about those. I can take those off. Just one moment. They were for your own good, believe me. There we go. Let's see. Alright. How does that feel? Why don't I go ahead and get some circulation back into your hands? I have uh, some lotion right here. It's a nice healing balm that we make over in the apothecary hut. So if you'll go ahead and give me your hand. There we go. Perfect. I'm just gonna gently massage the palm of your hand, your wrist, 
gently but firmly. Mm. I should work those marks right out. Probably won't even leave a bruise. Just relax. So, how much do you remember? Well, we have a new apprentice herbalist, and uh, when they were preparing your vision tea, they accidentally added two tablespoons of the herbal blend to your tea instead of two teaspoons. Other hand? Yeah. Two novices who were working in the garden said that, uh, you crashed through the isolation lodge wall and shouted, Oh yeah, before running into the woods. Yeah, you just disappeared. <laughs> Gonna squeeze on your wrist a little bit. How's that feel? Doesn't hurt too much? Good. Yeah. Well, you know, we're thinking about switching to the metric system anyway, so shouldn't happen again. All right, well, you're gonna be staying here with me until we patch up the huge sized hole in the isolation lodge wall. So, uh, for today, I'd like to evaluate your condition and, uh, clean up those scratches on your face, and then we're going to give you a thorough energy cleansing. How's that sound? All right. Right on. So, I'm going to start off by asking some questions. Just some standards questions for this kind of uh, escape. You know, you were out of our eyesight in the woods for quite a while, so we just want to make sure that you didn't run into anything unhealthy. So, let's see. Just answer honestly. How are you feeling right now? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and wiggle your toes and fingers for me. Anything working differently than it normally does? Are you experiencing any unusual aches or pains? Are you experiencing any nausea? Are you experiencing any unusual or intense cravings? You know, like sugar, vinegar, starchy foods, brains? I have to ask. Alright. Well, that all checks out for now. So, um, what I'd like to do is just take a quick look at your eyes. So I'm going to start off by shining a light into your eyes. I just want to make sure that all that stuff we got into your system is completely out. So I need to see how your pupils are reacting to the light. Can you go ahead and look right at me? Okay. Perfect. I'm going to go shine a light in your eye just for a moment. Look up, look down, left, right, perfect, other side, look up, down, left, right, perfect, now, see my finger? 
like you to go ahead and follow it with your eyes. Perfect. Keep following it. So, after doing a quick evaluation, I'm feeling very optimistic about your condition. Um, what I would like to do is go ahead and clean up those scratches on your face. I've mostly gotten all the dirt off of your face and out of the cuts. It looks like you ran into some branches or thorns, do you remember? No, I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't remember a single thing. That was a pretty intense dose of vision tea you had. I have a healing balm here. In this bowl. We prepared ourselves, and it's prepared by a master herbalist, so you don't have to worry about any mistakes in the preparation of it. I have a couple of activating ingredients, which I'll show you in just a moment. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this balm, I'm going to gently rub it over all your cuts and scratches on your face. Okay? It'll heal you right up. Sound good? Right on. So the first thing that I'm going to add is this. And this is just going to help activate the healing properties that are already in the healing balm. It's a special type of healing water, among other things. This had highly charged moonstones soaking in it for 13 days. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the cap off, add a little bit. should be just enough. And then one final ingredient. Now, this isn't the kind of thing you would normally see this early in your training, before you've technically even joined the commune, but special circumstances. This right here is a special Invisibility Serum. It can do a great many things, a great many different ways. But today, the way that we're going to use it, we're going to take just a few drops of it, and it'll make those cuts and bruises on your face. disappear. Perfect. Now, if you'll just go ahead and relax, I'm going to gently apply some of this to your forehead. Let me know if any of this hurts. It shouldn't. The cuts aren't too deep. Perfect. Now, let's see. I'm add a little 
rub it down the bridge of your nose here, just gently running my fingers down your nose. on this cheek. Here we go. And on this cheek. on your chin. Right here. Can you tilt your head back for me just a little bit? Perfect. Okay. Looking good. How do you feel? Right on. Now, I think we're going to do <clears throat> a couple different types of healings just to make sure we've really thoroughly cleansed your aura because who knows what you got into while you were out there. We're going to do a crystal healing and uh, that'll basically just direct some pure uh, spirit energies into you and it'll uh, cleanse out anything negative you might have run into in that regard. And I'll go ahead and do a wand cleansing that'll project some earth energies into you. And uh, to finish it all off, I'll probably do a simple aura smoothing and pull out any little bits of negative energy we see left. And then rest. You're going to need plenty of sleep after this ordeal. All right? Right on. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this crystal here. I'm going to hold it up very close to your face. I won't actually touch your face. And what I'm going to do is just... Direct some positive energy, zap it right into you. You ready? Great. You should be feeling better already. Just relax and let the healing energy wash through you. And 
very special wand. It looks simple, but it's very powerful. It's been made from a white oak tree. Over 200 years old. we only remove the wood from trees that have already fallen. So there's no sadness or pain inherent in this wand. It's very important for healing purposes. Of course, if you want a wand for different purposes, you can always chop a tree down and that energy will be in there. But that's sort of an advanced lesson for where you're at right now. What I'm going to do with this wand is uh, sort of the way that you might work a fork in spaghetti. I'm going to twirl this wand into your energy, snag on to the bad stuff, and pull it out. Okay? So just relax and let me pull the bad energy right out. Here we go. So working it in, pulling it out, working it in, and pulling it out, working it in, pulling it out. Working it in, pulling it out, working it in, pulling it out, working it in, pulling it out, working it in. Pulling it out. Working it in pulling it out. Just Just a few more. <laughs> Just pulling out all that lousy negative energy you picked up on your little adventure. Mostly cleansed of all the big bad energy that's snuck in there. Um, but it's pretty stirred up from the two healings I just did. So I'm going to do some gentle aura smoothing. I'm going to reach over and gently smooth out your aura. Cross your face. Cross your head and your shoulders. And as I smooth it out, I'll go ahead and if I see any little residual bits of bad energy in there, I'll go ahead and pull those out. While I'm doing this, you should find yourself starting to get drowsy. And once you start getting drowsy, you 
should go ahead and fall right asleep. Because like I said, you're going to need plenty of rest. Okay? So I'm going to be smoothing. Smoothing out your aura. Pulling out any bad energy. And towards the end, I'll start counting you down. I'll start at 37. I'll count down to 1. And you should be fast asleep by then. Sound good? Right on. Okay. Now, just relax. It's okay. You've been through a lot. But you're safe now. You're back with us. Nothing too bad got to you while you were out. You're healing. You're relaxing. And you're feeling better all the time. It's okay to sleep. We'll keep you safe. Safe while you sleep. It's okay. You're healing. You're safe. You're feeling better and sleepier all the time. I'm going to count down now from 37 to 1. By the time I get down there, you'll be fast asleep in a gentle, safe, healing sleep. Thirty-seven. Thirty-six. Twenty-five, 
Seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hey, how is it being out of the isolation lodge? Right on. How are you enjoying the semi-isolation lodge? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's amazing the difference one little window can make, right? Well, I know that it can seem a little lonely in there sometimes, uh, even with the way that they allow other commune members to tap on the window sometimes, but just keep reminding yourself that you are working toward a greater good. Don't forget, there is no I in isolation. Well, there is an I, but it's like more of a So, are you ready for your uh, cranial nerve training? Right on. Have you ever had a cranial nerve exam before? Right on. Yeah, you look like the type. So, uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be activating some latent neurons in your brain. I'm going to be going in through your ears and doing some stuff with your energy field, looking in your eyes to do that. And uh, after that, we'll go through a bunch of exercises to stimulate your cranial nerves. And basically, uh, as we stimulate those nerves, your newly activated neurons will send out these signals that will recondition your cranial nerves, and uh, it'll make them much more susceptible to a whole bunch of things that would be imperceptible to the average person. That does mean, of course, that you might start sensing, seeing, hearing some stuff that you hadn't been able to sense before, but uh, if that starts happening, don't worry. You're safe. You're in good hands here with me. But, uh, you know, I do like to warn people. Although I have learned that even if I warn people that something scary might be happening, they still like to yell at me a little bit afterwards. So let's just dive in, shall we? All right. Put this down. And... All right, so uh, let's start with some quick energy work. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, touch it, if that's all right with you. Yeah, right on. So I'm just gonna put my hands up here and kind of sense the energy field. It just keeps getting better and better every time I examine you. I love it. Okay, so I'm just gonna Start pulling out some of the negative energy, some of that spiritual debris that's kind of blocking my way here. Good. Yeah. Just sit there and relax. You're doing great. Courage in 
here and pull it out. <laughs> Gonna reach up here, pull it out. Up here, pull it out. Good. It's not too much in here. Got a little. Gonna grab it and pull. Take a quick look at your eyes. Can you uh, put your eyes right on my nose right here? Not, you know, actually physically, but just look at my nose. Good. Yeah. Right on. So I'm going to shine this light in your eye. Um, I'm just going to kind of see what's going on there in your brain uh, energy-wise. So if you could go ahead and just relax while I shine it here. Good. I'm gonna shine it here. Perfect. I'm gonna shine it here. Good. Just checking to see the way your uh, energy field reacts when I do that. So I'm gonna shine it right here. Good. Perfect. Looking good. And right here. Right on. Now, what I would like to do is activate those neurons by getting right up into your ears. I have a few tools I'm going to be using here. I'm going to uh, look with my otoscope here. I'm going to stick this sucker right in each of your ears. Take a look around, make sure the pathways are clear. If need be, I'll clean them out a little bit, and then we'll activate those neurons, okay? Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and start on this side. I'm going to take this otoscope right here and I'm going to gently insert it in your ear right here. And I'm done gazing in your ear. Good. Perfect. Yeah, we're gonna need to clean this out a little bit. I'm gonna put my fingers on the back of your ear. I'm gonna Pull it up and back just to reposition your ear. Good. Now, yeah. alright, I'm gonna sneak around the back here, take a look at the other ear. Alright, once again, I'm gonna gently place the otoscope in your ear right here. Again, I'm having a little trouble seeing, so I'm gonna grab the back of your ear and lift it up and back. There we go. Right on. Looks like this one's going to need a little bit of cleaning, too. That's no big deal. 
So this cleaning part shouldn't be uh, too difficult. I'm just gonna get into each ear with a Q-tip I got here, which I'm gonna spray with some fresh spring water, and I'm just gonna work it around real gently in each ear. <laughs> um, it's gonna feel maybe a little moist and cold in each ear, but you know, don't freak out. Or uh, as my dad used to say. Don't freak out and do that weird stuff, or uh, we're going to have to change the locks again. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick it in, clean it out, and then we should be able to go ahead and activate those neurons. So, once again, starting over on this side. Looking good. Let's go ahead and move on over to the other side here. We're just gonna spray this Q-tip. There we go. And I'm gonna get right in here. your ears have been fully prepared. I'm going to get right in there. And I'm going to be making some sounds that are going to activate some sleepy little frequencies in your brain. And I'll wake them right up, alright? But you just sit there and relax. You may or may not be able to feel it happening. Uh, sometimes it's kind of like a tingly feeling that goes down the back of your head. Uh, just relax, alright? Starting over on this side, I'm just gonna Alright. You can tell by looking at your aura when it's starting to work, so I'm just gonna get right in there and side. Alright. Not done yet, so. 
down to the next frequency we need with a little more frequency and you should be good. You ready? Here we go. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, other side. Your neurons are lit up like a Christmas tree. Right on. Now, let's go ahead and write a few quick notes here. We're going to start by training your olfactory nerves. That's a little smell test. How's that sound? Right on. So olfactory, optic, uh, oculomotor, trochlear, and abdescens. Those are the first few we're going to do. So smell test and then pupillary light response. This little container here. is a mixture of uh, plants and herbs that are grown not too far from here. And you're not going to have to identify the smell. It'll be a little complicated. But I'm going to open up this jar right beneath your nose. And what I'd like you to do is just... Breathe it in, close your eyes, and just go ahead and let your mind free. Just imagine whatever it is that smell makes you think of, all right? So let's go ahead and open this. And place it under your nose. Breathe in for me, nice big. And out. There you go. All right. Close your eyes for me. What does that smell make you envision? All right. <laughs> you can go ahead and uh, open your eyes again. Close this. And open a second one here. One more time. Putting it right under your nose. Breathe in. Hold it. Close your eyes. Breathe out. And what does that make you think of? Alright, you can open your eyes. 
That's actually the first time I've heard that answer. It's pretty interesting. So, let's get in those eyes. You uh, hearing or sensing anything odd yet? gonna shine a light in your eyes. Just checking to see how your pupils respond so you don't have to do anything. Just relax there and I'm gonna go ahead and All right, I'm gonna bring it in real close. Just gonna and on the side. I'd like you to look at my finger, please. I'm going to be moving it around, and I want you to keep your eyes on my finger as much as possible. You ready? So proud of you right now. You've come so far since you first got here. Good. Well done. Again. Look at my finger. I can bring it in close. Far away. This is already one of the better cranial nerve training sessions I've done here, so you can feel real good about yourself right now. I'd like to just examine your uh, the size and shape of your pupils real quick. I'm going to bring the light back in here. If you just look at my nose, I'm going to shine it in there. Perfect. All right, so next we're going to be training the trigeminal nerve. This one's going to be involving some touch. I'm going to be taking a sort of brush type thing and touching your face with it. I'm going to also be taking a slightly sharp but not painful object and touching your face with it. Uh, same thing with a cold object. I'm also going to be palpating some of the muscles on your face and asking you to follow a few instructions. But let's start with the uh, light touch training, all right? So, here we go. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes, alright? And uh, I'm going to take this little brush here. I'm going to gently touch your face in a few different spots. Uh, I'll let you know when I'm touching you. I'm not trying to trick you or anything. And if you could just confirm that you feel it when you feel it. All right, you ready? Go ahead and close your eyes. Close them. There you go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and 
touch. A little bit on your ears here. Touch. 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 Other side. I'm just going to go ahead and. The tip on this tool right here is a little bit sharp. It's not going to hurt you. I promise I'll be no more firm with it than I have to be. Once again, I'm going to tap your face a few different places repeatedly. And uh, I just need you to confirm that you can feel it. So if you want to open your eyes, blink a few times, that's cool. Alright, now close your eyes. Just close your eyes. you could see your aura right now. It's amazing. Alright, so moving on. Alright, so the uh, you alright there? Yeah. Stuff is starting to happen alright. Well, the stem of this tuning fork is quite cold. I'm going to be touching your face gently with all over. All you have to do is close your eyes and confirm for me that you can feel it when I tap, tap, tap it on your face. Alright, so let's go ahead and close your eyes. There we go. I'm gonna reach on out and Go ahead and open your eyes now. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and touch your face a little bit. I'm going to place my hands on either side of your jaw. And gently palpate the muscles. And when I'm done doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to clench your jaw shut very gently. I'm going to ask you to relax it. And then I'm going to be holding your jaw. I'm going to ask you to try and open it as I try to push it shut. Alright? It shouldn't be uncomfortable. It shouldn't be painful. It's going to be a little bit of exercise. Alright? 
So I'm going to reach out here and gently palpate your jaw muscle, starting up behind your ear, working my way down, right on the other side. Gently palpating that jaw on both sides, working my fingers down your jawline, down to your chin. Good. Alright. Just clench your jaw, not too hard. Good. Alright. Now I'm going to be pressing my palms against your jaw. I want you to go ahead and Open your jaw now. Open, 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 open. Good. And I'm going to press your jaw shut. I'm going to press. Good. Wow. You're special. But uh, I think you already knew that. Alright, moving on. Let's go ahead and... you go ahead and lift your eyebrows up for me like this? Good. A couple more times, up and down, up and down. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, wiggle your nose a little bit for me. Perfect. Smile. Great big, big, big smile. Awesome. Frown. Nice deep frown. Alright, I'm going to place my fingers on your eye. I'm going to try and hold your eyelid shut on this side, then on this side. And I just want you to try and open it against the pressure of my fingers. Okay, so I'm going to close your eye. I'm going to place my fingers right on there. Now try to open it. Open, open, open. Good. Other side. Close your eye. I'm going to place my fingers right on there. Now try to open your eye. Open, open, open. Perfect. I'm getting there. Alright. I'm going to be rubbing my fingers on uh, each side of your head here. Here. And I'll be slowly moving them away. I want you to let me know when you can't hear that sound anymore, okay? So it should be nice and loud to start, nice and audible. And as I move it out, it'll get quiet. When it stops, let me know. All right, you ready? So, say when. All right, right now. Other side. Say one. I'm gonna take this uh, tongue depressor right here. I'm gonna gently place it on your tongue and have you say ah. Uh. So if you could just let your jaw draw open. Perfect. I'm going to reach in and stick out your tongue. I'm going to press it down. Say ah. Uh. Alright. Now I'm going to ask you to repeat some sounds after me. Okay? So as I say these syllables, I want you to say them. Alright? Right on. Ka. 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 
Go. 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 Ka. Ka. You shrug your shoulders like this. Perfect. All right, turn your head from side to side. Right on. We're going to do a couple more resistance exercises. I'm going to go ahead and place my hands on your shoulders. I'm going to press your shoulders down. Right now, I'm going to press. Try and lift your shoulders up. Lift, lift. Alright, now I'm going to place my hands on either side of your face. I'm going to reach right in here and just try and turn your head this way. And once again, try and turn your head this way as I press my hands. But, almost done. I don't want to startle you, but, uh, you should be getting pretty sleepy if you haven't already. What I'd really like is for you to go ahead and get some sleep immediately after this exam. Uh, there's a lot happening in your brain right now, and the best thing to do is to, you know, just pass out, have some nice dreams, and let all that new stuff that's going on in there kind of marinate while you sleep. Stick your tongue out for me. As far as you can. Move it to the side. Move it to the other side. Right. Now. This has been an absolutely fantastic training session. So proud of you. Uh, however, you might need to go through a couple of these. So whenever you're ready, let me know. I'll come right back. We'll do this whole thing over again exactly as we just did it. For now, I want you to get some rest, alright? So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off. I'm going to count you down. I want you to just whoosh, drift away. Alright? Right on. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. Now, take a nice deep breath for me. Hold it. Breathe out. Good. Again, breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Perfect. Now I'm going to count you down from 10 to 1, and uh, just let yourself slip away, alright? Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. 